Hey everyone, my name is Percival and welcome back to the virtual world. Today in our final part of the main features of Vroid, uh, I'm going to be going over the general editor and the camera and export modules of Vroid. Since these modules are quite easy to use and both of them are quite short, I'll be combining them into one video. So let's get started. So we're going to be starting off with the general editor. There are only like three parts to this editor which will really make a difference towards your model. That being the outline tab, the rim light tab and the shading tab. The outline tab will do what it says, it'll give your, out your character an outline. It's, it's for like going out after the anime look. Personally, I recommend keeping it off since I feel like the models look better without the outline. But if you're going for like that proper, proper anime look, then I recommend to, like turning on. And as we can see, I'm turning on right now. Um, I, I, I just don't feel like it goes to my character. I just like, eh. like it, it can look nice on some, like, on some. But personally, for me, I'm, I'm, I usually just keep it off. After that is the rim light. I, I recommend you all to keep this off as it can mess with the model's lighting if you import it into VR chat. And I, f I feel like it just makes it look bad. Even though it can look nice for a few things, I don't think it's worth keeping on because it, lo it looks better off than it does on. And I'll just turn it on for you guys so you can look at it now. As we can see, it's just, uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Like, if, if this is like the look you're going for, then absolutely fine, use it definitely. But like personally for me, I'm, I'd, I'd usually keep it off. And next we have the shading tab. What this will do is shade in parts of your models that you want shaded. And I recommend tinkering with this yourself because it's all up to personal choice at the end of the day, like with all these like options. Um, These are my settings, but like if you, if, if I just change them a bit, like uh, you, you can see like the shade, like the shading of the outfit changes a bit, like, and while it does look nice a bit, like usually, I just usually keep it like this. I like the metal looking like nice and shiny. After that, we have the eye alignment. Now, if I just zoom in a bit, now what this will do is change the position of your eyes. And, and since most eyes are already centered and aligned, I recommend leaving this alone unless you need to center your eyes. Or maybe even like uncenter them for like a look you're going for. And I'll show you what I mean by like uncentering now. So as you can see, the eye on the left is moving. And if I, like, now the eye on the right is moving, if I change that, the, you can change them up and down like that, and this doesn't do anything for me at the moment, so. Yeah, if you're gonna center your eyes, go for it. But like, if you like, or your eyes are probably already center, and like also, if you're going for a look with it, that, that would be amazing. Like, I, I wanna see like, I, I like seeing all your like, v red looks, they, they look awesome. Like from the ones I've seen so far. Now, lastly in general editor is bone. Now, what I believe this does is allow your body and clothing to move with dynamic bones, but I may be wrong about that since I've never really used this feature. I'm, I usually just keep it like this though, just uh, I, just because I don't want to break anything. So yeah, now we'll move on to the camera and exporter. This is where I like make different thumbnails, and I also use this to like make uh, my ref sheet. So what I always do at the beginning is I always make the background green. Now the reason I do this is so I can green screen it out on Photoshop later. Um, after that, what I like to do, ca go to capture size and then I go to 8K. This makes sure like the model is like the best quality it can be, like on the um, thumbnails and like, yeah. After that we go to expression, I always turn off um, blinking because like, <laughs> I've had so many times where I've captured like a thumbnail and but I'm, I'm, my fucking model is blinking in like the middle of it and I'm, it just pissed me off so much. Usually after that I'll like choose the expression. So if we're going for like a sad video, I'll go for the sad expression. If we're going for like a happy video, we'll go for the happy expression. Happy expression, are you, there we go. Um, and yeah, um, but what I usually do is just go with neutral because that's my favorite one. It just like, it's just a nice smile. Doesn't really change much of it. Just like, you know, it just smiles a bit. And like, I feel like that's the best, like, it's the most consumer friendly for gathering. And next we go to posing. So posing is interesting because if I go to pose animation, you have a bunch of stock posing poses already. So like, you can just do that or like that. And like, I, u I will use these sometimes for like thumbnails, but I what I usually do is I like to make my own poses. So if I go to pose, you'll get your own pose animator thing. And like what I usually do is just like mess around with it a bit, see if I can get a nice pose. Um, what is it? This, it's, it's, an, it's, an, it's, it's sometimes it can be quite hard to like mess around with if you're new to this. And as we can see, I've just made a really cool, like a, a really quick pose, like there. And obviously, we can which one's right again, right hand. And we can also change like the um, hand expression or like hand gestures. So if I want to have my hand open, boom. And then like I can just go down to capture and get that quick photo right there. Um, and I think that's it with the basics of um, the um, camera exporter. And then we go to lighting, and I usually leave the lighting alone because. For some reason, the lighting always like messes up with my 
uh, V-Run model, as we can see, I can just make it fully black. Um, but if I reset my lighting. Um, but usually I just I just end up like leaving the lighting alone just so I like I I, I rather like not like mess with lighting. Um, but like, if you guys want to like mess around with it, go ahead. It'll be very nice to see what you guys can come up with. Next we get wind, and wind is um basically it's it's what you think it is. It'll just um what it will do is it will just mess with your uh, dynamic mo dynamic mode, make them move, and it ca you can make a few nice things out of it. And um if you guys want to mess around with that, it'll be cool as well. Post processing now. Um, post processing is interesting. What I like to do is I like to go to high um, anti-aliasing. I like to keep keep the bloom off because like obviously. It messes with my. Um, I, I don't know. I just I just like keeping the uh, bloom off. But you can come up with some nice like bloom effects, like I've just done now, which I like. Um, if I turn the intensity up and the threshold, boom! I am very bloom. Um, color grading, interesting. So with color grading, all it will do is just like you can mess around with the little filters you have here. The only thing I really do with color grading is I like to turn the contrast up to like twenty percent. If I'm making a thumbnail, but like I'm not doing like anything in what should we call it uh, Photoshop with it but I'm usually making like making thumbnails in like Photoshop or Adobe Spark so I usually just keep it like that um, now with comic is it comic is interesting because if I'm ever going for like a most comic and motion blur that I should be saying comic and motion blur are quite interesting since like if I'm going for more like, more like a stylistic photo I'll use it as we can see we are making it like more oily um, maximum threshold we it's, it's very interesting and I recommend you guys playing around with it because it can be very fun to play around with. But let's just reset that and we'll turn comic off. Now motion blur is the same thing. Um, personally I don't really mess around with motion blur just because, I don't know, it just, it's the same thing as comic. If I'm like going to make a stylistic um, thumbnail then yeah I will like mess around with everything here but usually I just keep it like this. Now that we're done with that, that's the um, ending of the camera portion of this, now we get to export. Now. Exporting is quite easy, but I what I will tell you guys some things I do recommend doing. So, for, if you're going to be um, exporting into VR Chat, then I recommend you going to Materials and pressing Two. After that, I always make always make sure that the texture atlas resolution is at the highest it can be, or you will lose like a lot of like um, detail in your uh, model. As we can see, it started looking a little blurry if we turn like the texture atlas um, down, but if we turn it back up, we can see it gets a lot more um, fine tune and like a lot more detail. In and that's all I recommend doing for um, exporting. Now we just press the export button, and then you will just you just fill out this little form, and then boom, you are already exported. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. It really means a lot that you guys came to check it out. If you enjoyed it, it would be much appreciated if you left a sub and like. Anyway, I'm gonna log off now, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video.